Hey guys, this is Maurice from Editors Depot, and I'm just gonna make a really quick tutorial for you guys on how to edit Blender intro templates, as I know that a lot of you guys might have this question. Now, really quickly guys, I'm assuming you have already installed Blender, so if you haven't, you can just go to blender.org. There's a link down in the description if you need it. Um, just go ahead and install it, it's free. There's both for Windows and, um, and uh, Mac, but you can go ahead and just choose whichever one you need. We're using Mac, it's the same thing. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So. I'm also going to leave you guys a link to the template I'm going to use for this tutorial if you want to go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm basically going to go ahead and pick it right now. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and choose uh, this yellow one here. So it's called a multicolor 3D intro template if you want to go ahead and search for it instead. But there's going to be a link in the description. Now <laughs> I said I was going to pick it randomly. I actually have already selected it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Blender and get started. Now another thing you can do is actually just click on a description below and you're going to find a bunch of top 10 Blender intro template videos. We have a series from 1 to 20, a million, and you can just download any template you want from there. We've pretty much collected all of the best Blender templates we've found and put them for you in the video. So go ahead and check that out guys and let's continue. Now that you have Blender open guys, don't stress out, don't worry, you don't need half of these features. You only need about 3 or 4 and uh, so yeah, I just want to let you guys know, don't freak out. Maybe you've already seen this and you thought, wow, I can't do this. Let me open up a tutorial. So let's get started. You're going to go ahead and open the, the file. You can hit control O or uh, or just go here. And I already, I already found my file, but I'm going to go ahead and assume I haven't. So you're just gonna it's going to look something like this for you. You just go ahead and look for where you saved it. Now I saved mine in my downloads folder and it should be this one here. There we go. Found it. Now, a lot of times. The motion designers, unfortunately, they edit the interface to make it easy for them, right? And I don't know how to work with this here, so it's a big problem. So what I'm going to do is actually load up the, the default interface. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new project, and then I'm just going to go ahead and load it up again. Now, before you hit open, you're just going to go ahead and untick this. It says load UI, and when you look at it again, it looks very simple. Let's check it out one time. There we go. You see it's moving and stuff, so we haven't really fixed the view here, but you can zoom in and just check out the, the animation. And yeah. So now that you guys have something you can work with, all you're really going to do is just scroll over here to the right. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my uh, pointer, but you just scroll over to the right to the F. And you're going to go ahead and tick that. And I mean, of course, you can move this. It really doesn't affect your template, but just make sure you have a good view where you can see things. So I'm going to move this timeline to something that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now that I have this ticked, I'm going to right click my text. You see I have two layers here, so I just keep right clicking and it moves and it moves me through both of them. I'm going to write Editor's Depot. So I right click and then I hit the tab key and now you can edit the text. So I'm going to delete that, write Editor's. And then I do the same thing with the other layer. Tab key. So you're just going to keep doing that. Oh, by the way, you tick tab again to leave the editing mode. I don't know what you want to call it. We're going to call it editing mode. And you do the same thing for the bottom if you need to. There we go. So I have what I want and I'm going to go ahead and also change the color. So you of course select a layer and you just go ahead. No, not that one. There we go. And you just look for the color. I forgot for a second how to find this guys, but don't worry, I found it. You're just gonna go ahead and click this right here, right next to the font icon for the default view. And you're just gonna go ahead and look at the colors here. So as you can see, I have my uh, my blue layer ticked. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like if you don't tick it. So here I have the silver one, do it again, blue. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to, to red. I want a red color and that looks awesome. So guys, really that's all I, that's all I have to do. Um, now I'm ready to render it. So you're just gonna go ahead and select the place where you want to render it. You scroll over to the side here and then you scroll, sorry, it's the little camera. And here you can set up your render settings. What you wanna do is go ahead and scroll down to your output, make sure you have it saved somewhere that you can remember. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop and name it tutorial. I have a mess, I know. The next step is to actually render it as H.264. That's what I like to render it as, and a lot of people do as well. But you can also select QuickTime, and you just gotta bring the quality all the way up. And of course, you select the H.264 codec. There we go. So now we're set to get to go. Make sure you tick on Audio AAC, and we're good to go, guys. That's all you have to do. Now all you do is click this animation button, Render Active Scene, sorry, and that's all you have to do. Now this thing is going to take a while, but guys, by the time it's done, it's going to be a masterpiece. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Remember to check out editorsdepot.com for all of your editing essentials. We have templates for everything. And as always, my name is Maurice. Uh, see you guys later. Take care.